everyone this is Heather thank you so much for joining me today I've got a scrapbook page tutorial for you using some of the new products from the Stampin Up holiday 2018 catalog this time I'm making a um, kind of a Halloween themed scrapbook page I am using the cauldron bubble stamp set the cauldron framelits dies the toil and trouble designer series paper and the toil and trouble cardstock pack uh, I am a huge fan of Harry Potter and my husband and I have been down to the Wizarding World at Universal Studios in Orlando several times and you can actually eat at the uh, the Leaky Cauldron there which is sort of a, like a hotel in the books and the movies and there's actually a restaurant inside and there is indeed a gigantic cauldron with a big crack in it so I thought that the um, cauldron bubble bundle would be perfect for this so what you're going to need is paper from the Toil and Trouble Designer Series papers and so I used a um, snippet from the all over patterned hat paper two of the girls one of them with the broom and then the other girl that um, almost looks like she has a uh, candy corn stripes on her skirt then the pattern that has like lines with the spiders and the cauldrons and the cat and these nice horizontal patterns the all over star pattern and this is going to be the base so you need a whole sheet of that and then also um, cardstock from the toil and trouble cardstock set using the green purple black and orange and then the cauldron bubble stamp set and I actually only used um, just the words, the Bubble Bubble Toil and Treble, um, and I'm using all the pattern papers for the embellishments, but if you wanted to, you could obviously stamp and color out all the images instead. Then I'm going to use practically all of the dies from the Cauldron Framelit dies, and the Ghost is the only one that I didn't use. And then also just one of the little um, kind of stitch square tags from the Farmhouse Framelit dies. Granny Apple Green ribbon and Granny Apple Green ink. So one of the great things that I discovered is that the majority of the dies actually are the same size as the shapes on the pattern papers. So that means that you can die cut the shapes and have them already colored in for you. So this makes for a really quick and easy way to add embellishments to your cards and your scrapbook pages. So I am just lining up the die. I've just cut little snippets from the pattern papers and I'm using a repositionable tape and I'm just gonna tape all of the matching dies to the papers. So I have taped all my dies down to my pieces of pattern paper. This is the girl that fits the die. This is the girl holding the broom. We're just gonna be die cutting out the broom. Got the little frog, the cauldron, and the kitty cat, and also the hat. And then from a black piece of cardstock, I'm going to use the spider web die, and I'm gonna cut two of those. And I've got just a small piece of white cardstock, and I'm gonna take the words and the granny ample granny apple green ink pad i'm gonna stamp the words onto my card stock you'll leave a little bit of room around there i'm going to take this square kind of label die and the small little stars die that go that comes so the square is from farmhouse and the stars are from the cauldron and I'm going to take I need a little bit of a longer piece I'm going to take a long piece of repositional tape and I'll line everything up and tape it into place so now I'm just laying all of my pieces onto my die cutting plate place the top piece over and I'm just going to put this in my Sizzix die cut machine and run everything through 
So now I'm going to make one more pass through the die cut machine. I'm going to cut one more spider web out of the black. And then I'm going to cut the same square label die without any stamping or the stars out of purple. Run that through my big shot. So now I have all my little pieces and parts all die cut out and just with a paper trimmer and the paper that has all of the kind of horizontal images, I just cut out one of the stripes and one of the sections of the orange polka dot. And then from the Granny Apple Green ribbon, I've cut about a 12 and a half inch piece of the ribbon. And you can see on the tag, because I put the stars in there, and it makes that nice pattern underneath. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of tape runner and adhere those together. So then now I've got the purple stars coming through the back. I have also cut a piece of orange and a piece of green to be mats for my photos. My photos were um, five by sevens. So um, each of these are cut to five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of tape runner and this is acid free, which is important for your photos. And I'm just gonna adhere the photos to the mats that I've created. So now I've added my mats to my photo. So I'm gonna pull my large piece of star paper over, add a little bit of adhesive to the back of the mats. And I'm going to place the one photo down at the bottom at a little bit of an angle. And then add this other photo so that it's sort of overlapping just a bit at an angle at the top. And now I'm ready to adhere my strips of paper. So I'm just gonna add tape runner across the back. And across the bottom, I'm going to put the orange dots. Then I'm gonna leave just a little bit of space in between and put the horizontal stripes. Then I'm gonna add some tape runner to my ribbon. Now I'm just gonna lay that ribbon across there in between those two papers. Make sure that's straight. And then I'm just gonna tuck it around behind. So now I'm ready to start putting down all my embellishments. I'm gonna put just a teeny little bit of tape runner across the hand of the witch. And you can kind of line up the hand from the other girl so that it looks like she's holding that. I'm going to turn all these pieces over and I'm going to put foam tape on the back of everything. So now all my pieces just have little squares of foam tape on them. I'm bring my layover back over and start to lay my pieces down. So I'm putting the cauldron down, kind of overlapping the photo a little. So now I'm going to place my little witch next to the cauldron. And then I'm also going to put the little frog sitting down next to her. Then up here I'm going to place the hat at a little bit of an angle. And place the kitty cat kind of in front of it just a little bit. Then I'm going to take my tag and kind of tuck it up behind the words. And now I'm just grabbing a scratch piece of paper and a glue pen and I'm going to apply some glue to the back of these spider webs. They are very thin and delicate so a glue pen or a glue stick is perfect. So now I'm going to place one of the spider webs in the upper left hand corner of one of my photos and then also in the upper right hand corner of the layout. That. 
and I wanted to add just a little bit of sparkle and shine here and there so I'm going to do that two ways. I'm going to be applying some um, clear wink of Stella pin and also some scattered sequins. So I'm just going to shake out my wink of Stella pin just a little bit. Uh, if you've never went, used one of these before, they add such a fantastic, just little bit of shimmer and shine to your projects. Um, it's not like a heavy glitter glue or anything. And um, one trick, you do not want to squeeze. It will come out on its own. Because if you squeeze, sometimes a big blob might come out. So I'm just adding little touches on my pattern paper just to add a little bit of shimmer and shine. So hopefully you can see that just a little bit on camera that there's a little bit of shimmer there. So I've just added it in different touches on some of the embellishments. And now I'm just gonna take just some small glue dots and just in various places around my layout, I'm just going to apply glue dots here and there remove the backing paper from all the glue dots that I've sort of scattered around and I'm just taking some small sequins and I'm just going to take a sequin and just place a sequin on each glue dot. I hope you can see some of the sequins that I scattered around. So here is my finished layout. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I think it's perfect for these shots of the Leaky Cauldron inside uh, Harry Potter at the Wizarding World. So uh, I hope you give this a try. It's uh, really great that these dies will actually die cut the pattern paper shapes too. So it's a quick and easy way to make some cards and scrapbook pages. So uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out my channel. I've got lots of cards you tutorials and product reviews for you and I hope you have a witchy wonderful day. This is Heather. Bye.